some questions and make sure you're a good fit in our university and you can feel free to ask me any questions to see if it's a good fit for you. Alright, sounds good. Well, to get to know you better, I'd like to know some things you do in your free time, some of your hobbies. Well, this is what I do. But she doesn't want to hear this. Well, I really like to ski with friends, hike, all that kind of stuff. I like to read a lot. Yeah. So, you like to read. Can you tell me your favorite book or some of your favorite books? Um, yeah, I read this book in school, George Orwell's 1984. I really liked that. It was really moving. Um, also, this book by some Russian guy, it's War and Peace. And do you know who that's by? Uh, was it Tolstoy? Maybe I was pushing a little with that Tolstoy. I couldn't tell her this. Yeah, this is what I really read. Shay, of all the places you could go or visit, or all the activities you could be doing, where do you find yourself most content? Hmm. Well, honestly, most content right here. feel content when I'm helping out volunteering at the soup kitchen. It really brings a warm feeling inside when I see their smiling faces when I can serve them some food, help them out. It just feels good. Interesting. So Shay, this is a different kind of question, but I always like to get the answers to these. So uh, what would you do if you were lost in the woods? Huh. What would I do if I was lost in the woods? I don't know if I can keep lying to this lady. But honestly, what kind of question is that? Well, I guess I would use my knowledge of astronomy to kind of find the North Star, use trigonometry to kind of calculate my latitude and longitude, figure out where I am. And I would find some running water, maybe some shelters, some way to get some food until I could make my way out. Mommy! So it sounds like you've been a Boy Scout. Uh, no, not officially. Okay. I have another quirky question for you, Shay. Mm -hmm. Imagine you won a hundred million dollars in the lottery. What would you do with that money? Well, I mean, I would definitely donate a big portion of it to charity. You know, give some of it to my family to help them out. You know, they're going to be paying for college soon. And then, you know, whatever college I'm going to, I'd definitely give a huge donation to them. I mean, that's important. But I guess my first priority would be to feed the kids in Africa. You know, that's kind of important to me. But I would try to stay humble with my money, not go too crazy with it. I don't want to be one of those guys who just 
throws his money around and shows it off, anything like that. What could she possibly be writing about me so much? I'm just so done with this interview. Shay, if you were to pick one person, living or dead, who you would like to have dinner with, who would you choose? Kato. Kate Upton. I'm not sure who that is. Who is that? Shoot, did I just say that out loud? Oh, no, uh, Upton Sinclair, the American writer who kind of exposed the problems with the food industry in America. Oh, okay. The famous muckraker. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, uh, that was a close one. Well, I think we're about out of time, but Shay, it was truly a pleasure meeting you, and, um, I hope, uh, I answered any of your questions. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me. It was great. Thanks. Yes, it was great. And good luck. Thank you. God, that interview just went terrible. I lied the whole time. Maybe I'm just done with this whole college thing. I'm sick of it. <laughs>